In this Madden video, I'm going to be breaking down a rollout money route combination that you can utilize out of the trips tight end formation in Madden 22. Now, the beauty of this rollout that I'm going to share you, with you in this video is you're going to have great protection, and it's really a way in which we can create, recreate, if you will, uh, PA boot over. But honestly, I think it's a little bit better um, in some regards than PA boot over because of some of the unique motions, some of where it's gonna put people on the field, and we're gonna jump into that in just a second. But if you're new to the channel and you want to get better at this game, I would really ask that you go ahead and click the subscribe button. I upload new videos every single day that can help you become a better Madden player. And also, I've got a full uh, Trips Tight End ebook if you wanna get access to that. I'm gonna put a link to that. It's in, um, it's in my Patreon membership. So by joining the Patreon membership, it automatically gets you access to the, um, it automatically gets you access to all of my eBooks. I've got 18 offensive and defensive eBooks in Madden 22. So you get access to all of that for just $10 a month. The beauty of that is it also allows you to be able to um, get access to any of the updates to those eBooks as long as your subscription is active. We typically update the membership three to four times a week with new material, new concepts, new things that you can check out. So if you wanna get access to all that, again, there's a link in the description. You can join it for just $10 a month. Now the play we're gonna be talking about today is PA Counter Go. Um, you could also do this out of other plays, um, like verticals, for example, but I like the blocking that you get out of PA Counter Go the best. And what we're gonna do is we're just going to um, move the ball. We wanna run this with the trips to the short side of the field if possible, but we're always gonna have our trips to the left, um, especially if we have a right-handed quarterback with a skate artist, okay? But ideally to the, to the short side of the field. Now, the first thing that we're gonna do to set this up, and I'm just gonna set it up against a general um, sin, uh, sin five out of Mike Blitz three with contain. So you see very decent coverage here. And what we're gonna do is we're going to slide the line to the right and we're going to block the tight end. If you want to double team this guy, you certainly can do that. Uh, but most importantly is the slide to the right. Then we're going to motion this guy to the left. Don't motion him to the right, motion him to the left. And what that's gonna do is it's gonna put him right in the slot, which is the perfect position for him to be a seam streak. And then we're going to in route the backside receiver as a check down read. And basically what we're trying to do, we're gonna cancel play action, get out of the pocket, and then we can hit our crosser right there and they're gonna to have to have pretty significant zone drops to be able to defend that. They're gonna to have to have at least their zone drops on 30. The problem in this year's game, or at least the way the game works right now, is they have to send five to even have a chance to contain you. And then also, this seam streak is a really, really good pull route, and it's also a good reading of itself. So here, boom, okay, not there, so roll out, passing that up, see how deep that gets? Like it's almost, I mean, it's going to be a thing where like with rolling out, a lot of times the zones will get manipulated and you'll be able to hit that. What I really like about this though is the fact that they can't just blitz the crap out of me and it's not going to work. So it's great protection. It's kind of a play that I like to call whenever I'm just trying to get kind of a feel for the game and how they're going to defend me. You see here, if I can get out of the pocket, um, you know, see how, the, how good a skate artist is, a lot of times you can get out. Um, and that's really advantageous to our offense. Now, the other thing that we can do is against cover three, and this is where you don't have to use escape right away. So it's a really good read against cover three. Here's why. Because this seam streak, you notice this uh, corner, cornerback on the right. He normally moves. He actually stays in here, uh, but he normally moves a little bit to the right. But what you'll notice is against cover three, this seam is wide open. Okay, so you have a really solid read, and that's open against cover three, send five. It's also open against cover three, send two. So if they're gonna send two, let's say they're gonna run some Mabel coverage on you, um, and they're gonna send two people, you're gonna have a field day with this, because not only are you gonna be able to roll out, but you're also going to be able to hit your seam streak. So you'll see right here, boom, pass lead that up and to the right, and you see it just glitches the third really well and uh, you can easily fit that in there. So very, very good uh, play for beating cover three, whether they send five or they don't. And then uh, the rest of the coverages, let's talk real quickly about man. Um, so let's say they send a man blitz, five man, uh, man, man blitzing play. What you wanna do with this 
um, is exactly the same. You just want to cancel the play action, ideally. So you cancel, and then you get out, and you can throw a rat right there. So very good little play. If you got a good route runner there, a good player there, that's going to be pretty much every coverage in the game. The other thing that you have going for you, though, is that you have your check down. Um, so your check down here, you take a look here. This is cover for drop. Here, boom. And then now roll out. And you see your check down there. So if they're going to go use the crosser, you now have your little check down over the middle of the field. It's a very good play for Mabel coverage because these crossers are going to run right in the middle of the field, uh, which is very advantageous for your um, your play. One thing I want to show, another popular way that people like to stop crossers in this game is they love to uh, baseline press out of a cover four shell. If they do that against you here, what you'll see is this should get over the top, and you got a window right there over the top. So that's why this play is so interesting. Um, and I don't know why people don't, more people don't run this out of trips tight end, but this concept is pretty dang good. As it doesn't, it's not an every play kind of play. I mean, it can be, but because of how good escape is, pass lead up, and you see you're you're killing cover four too. So if you want to do this out of something that's not that play, you can do this out of verticals. It's basically the same. The primary difference is your running back is not going to block, uh, which is honestly fine, um, especially against wide. It might even be better because what you get is you get this little um, you know, this little hitch. That's a real underrated concept. So you get here, get blocking. Oh, okay, no. And that's that's the, that's why I like counter go better. But you see the concept. Uh, let me show that again. This time we're going to send five. You have to remember, too, this guy's not going to be blitzing. He's just going to be hovering. So that's that's one thing you have to remember a little bit. But the reason I like verticals is because if they're running a lot of Mabel heavy zone, what will happen is this, this route will get over the top of a 30-yard cloud flat. And then with your running back, you can honestly do – you can block him um, if, if you want to. But what you'll see is this. See how deep that gets over the top? It gets – it gets over the top of 30 yard clouds, even though the man coverage is kind of glitching me. But I'll show that again. So this is an idea of what verticals can do. Another thing you can do from verticals is you can actually, um, let's say for example, you wanted to do two check down reads. You could drag this guy, in route this guy. I've talked about this a little bit before, but the big thing is you want to slide there. That's really, really important. And then you can run him back streak and it'll pull the zones as well. The other thing you can do with this is the running back, you can just simply out route him. And if you want, you can also just block him. I actually think it's best. Just block him. It'll get you really good protection. And then look at how deep that vertical route will get. So it's going to definitely get over a 30 yard cloud. Okay. And the other cool part about this motion, a lot of people like to do this right now. This is popular. So what they'll do is they'll inside corner out of a Tampa 2. And the reason that that's so good is because you'll see here he's going to basically lurk that guy. See how he lurks him all the way to the sideline? and makes it a real hard throw. Well, when you do this motion of that slot, I'm going to do the exact same adjustment. So that's the inside quarter there. And we're going to do that adjustment of the slot motion. Now it's no longer a, a, the rule of three or the trips rules. So what you'll see here is he's just going to stand in the middle of the field and guard nobody. And now that's open. So this is just a great way to mix up your play calling. It's a real good play. They just kind of get a look at their defense. I think it's a super underrated play because, again, most trips offenses, they don't attack this area of the field right here. And you can do that with escape. So thanks for watching. If you want to get all my ebooks, join the Patreon membership. It also gets you access to all the updates uh, and new ebooks while your subscription is active. 18 ebooks in the membership. Very, very good, very heavy content in there. So if you want to check that out, uh, there's a link in the description. I guarantee it's going to make you a better Madden player as we literally break down the best of the best, what they do, why they do it, as well as our own stuff, and we kind of put our spin on things. So if you want to check that out, 
link in the description. It's only 10 bucks a month. Get you access to everything. Super in-depth breakdowns, especially on the defensive side of the ball, as that's the area in Madden 22, which is the most difficult. And so we spent the most time trying to find really solid defense. Thanks for watching. If you want to join the Patreon, there's a link in the description.